The Spring 21 release notes went live just before the December holidays. Let's now go through the top 10 features we found the most interesting from the Spring 21 release. First up, we've got Flow updates. Flow is truly becoming the rising star of the Salesforce platform, with huge updates being made in each release. Here are a few standout updates from this release. Lightning Flow has now been renamed to Salesforce Flow. This incorporates a set of features that includes Process Builder and Flow. Flow now has the ability for time-based flow actions. Screen elements now allow for multi-column support. Prior values are now accessible in record triggered flows. So stay tuned for more flow updates from our resident flow natic, Tim Combridge. One of the most common complaints when Lightning was first released surrounded load time and page speed. In the last release, Salesforce provided us with a page performance widget that gave us high level information about load times. This feature has been further developed to provide predicted load times, as well as a performance breakdown by component, allowing you to easily see which Lightning components are taking the longest to load. All in all, this kind of reporting allows you to create a much better user experience for your users. Einstein Opportunity Scoring allows your sales users to see predicted insights into their sales pipeline. Einstein will suggest ways to increase the probability of your sale closing from analyzing past opportunities and what has worked. While this feature was made free a couple of releases ago, it did require a minimum of 200 closed opportunities in order to work its magic. Salesforce have now developed global scoring models, allowing small or new customers to get started with AI insights right away. An overdue feature that I've seen a lot of admins rejoicing about Manual sharing provides a way for users to manually share a particular record. This was a staple feature of Classic, but has yet to be ported over to Lightning, until now. So get this, can you believe it's been 12 years since an idea was created on the idea exchange for this? The ability to create relationships to the opportunity product object. Finally, you'll be able to create relationships to it. Announced at Trailhead DX midway through 2020, Salesforce Meetings is set to supercharge the way sales reps prepare and conduct their prospect and customer engagements. There are a couple of main features that have been highlighted in Spring 21 specifically. The Meeting Digest screen gives you a summary of any meeting you're attending. And then secondly, there's Meeting Studio. This provides a platform to help keep customers and prospects engaged virtually. I recommend you check out the images on the blog to see for yourself, as words do not do it justice. A few years ago, Salesforce released the Lightning Usage app that allows admins to review powerful insights into the adoption of their org. This has been further developed in the Spring 21 release to show login metrics. These out-of-the-box reports and dashboards provide insights into how your users are logging into your org. If you are using single sign-on or two-factor authentication, then you can review how many users are actually taking advantage of these powerful security features. Collaboration has been at the forefront of Salesforce's mission for a number of years. And with the move Salesforce made in 2020, we predict it will continue to be the word on everyone's lips. Salesforce Anywhere has expanded to include all features from Quip. Is this the start of a new offering that includes Salesforce Anywhere, Quip, and potentially Slack? Salesforce released some amazing statistics a few weeks ago that revealed Einstein is now delivering 80 billion predictions a day. This includes a 680% increase in the use of Einstein bots year over year. Einstein bots provides a powerful interface for your customers to interact with your organization. With the Spring 21 release, Article Answers now allows automatic suggestion of knowledge base articles to your customers when they ask a relevant question. Just another example of how AI is taking over the world. And last but not least, we have in-app guidance, um, which is now going to be found in something called the Guidance Center. Sitting through day-long training sessions for Salesforce is so dated. The Guidance Center provides recommended trailhead modules based on your role or the page you're currently visiting. In addition, admins can create learning paths using public trailhead modules or through my trailhead if you use that product. Thanks for watching our top 10 favorite Spring 21 features. We hope it gave you a lot to think about and get excited about. If there's anything we missed out, any questions you have, or a favorite feature you would like to highlight, please leave a comment below.